What is up, guys? This is your boy, Andy Matrix. I talk about anime, manga, video games, geek culture, and Japanese culture. Okay, so we got a bit of interesting news here. So I was at SanCaprizConference.com, and I saw that Sony allegedly planning on games preservation team. Okay, so they have a games preservation team. And in case uh, you're not familiar with, with this term, this terminology, so games preservation is a form of preserving, uh, of basically, the preservation applied to the video game industry basically trying to trying to m trying to maintain g maintain games that are no longer in production kind of like like Nintendo 64 games games that are no longer in production they want to um make sure that they that they remained alive somehow right so in this news uh, this was kind of breaking news by this new hire this is Sony's new hire Gareth Fridley it says a uh, senior build engineer up at PlayStation. Okay, it looks like he just got hired, right? And if we look at one of his recent posts, it says, "Today is my first day as a senior build engineer at PlayStation, working as one of their initial hires for the newly created preservation team. Game preservation was my first career career passion, so I am ecstatic that I get to, to go back to those roots." Okay, very very interesting. But we all know, <laughs> you know, thus far, Sony has not been really good with uh, with preservations. Like, um, you know, p part of preserving games, right? Or, or like, um, you know, a lot giving people access to old games is backwards compatibility, backwards compatibility, which Sony seems to fail to do, you know, with the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Okay. So if I don't have a PlayStation 5, but according to the people that do have it and, and people that I know that ha that have the PlayStation 5, uh, PlayStation 5 right now is not backwards compatible, okay? It's not backwards compatible. Uh, you cannot play PlayStation 2 games on it, PlayStation 1 games on it, PlayStation 3 games on it, on the play on, on the PlayStation 5, just to make sure. Uh, the uh, I think in the PlayStation... I think in the PlayStation 4, you could play PlayStation 3 games, but you could not play... PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1, right? So part of the, you know, the idea of preserving games is backwards compatibility, uh, giving people access to those old titles from, you know, from two to three, from one or two decades ago, right? Uh, so they got this new hire, and uh, I thought it was pretty interesting. I'm going to go ahead and um, and show you his YouTube channel in just a moment. Okay, so here we are at his YouTube channel, right? It says Game Developers Conference. This is from 2019, so... He's been uh he's he's been doing this for a few years now, you know I'm guessing, and uh, all right so here we go. Fredly, I'm a software engineer at Electronic Arts, and my work encompasses all that is preservation. I handle the preservation of some of our headlining sports titles, and I make it so that they can come back again one day, whether it be 10 years later, 30, 40, even 100 years. I make sure that that is possible. My initial role, though, at while I do engineer work day to day, I actually got my start developing tools, developing tools specifically in the technical art space. So I kind of have experience with both making games and kind of doing weird preserv preservation work with them. So that's my background. That's what I do. And you'll see soon that how that actually plays into preservation. With that said, let's kick things off. What is this thing called preservation? Okay, so, you know, he's, um, it looks like he's really good at what he does. So hopefully, hopefully, I mean... This probably means that PlayStation, that Sony is going to start applying backwards compatibility to PlayStation Five. I don't know. There's been no confirmation. Okay, again, there has been absolutely no confirmation. Right now, this is just speculation. Okay, there's no confirmation. But according to this new hire and um, and, and what he's able to do, it looks like he's um, it, it looks like Sony is trying to you know make those old titles be playable. You know, I guess not not just on the not just on the PlayStation Five, but most likely on their on their PlayStation Now or PlayStation Plus plan. Basically, their their Sony Game Pass, if you will, right? And um, I mean, hopefully they do this. You know, uh, I might just get a PlayStation Five. Maybe, maybe I'll get a PlayStation Five, and maybe I'll subscribe to the you know to this you know to the PlayStation Plus. And to PlayStation's cloud gaming, if this is the way they are going, you know, uh, there's certainly some titles that I would like to go back and visit. Again, there's been no confirmation. Whatever your thoughts are, make sure to comment below. Tell me what you think. 
and like this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell for future notifications. And um, thank you guys for watching. This is your boy, Andy Matrix. Godspeed.